Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here tonight to show, do a makeup tutorial of um, an awesome product that I bought. Um, I actually bought it last night. It was only nine dollars or ten dollars. I can't remember. It came. It was from Priceline, and it's the Australis Neutrals and Neo Eyeshadow and Eyeliner Kit. So it's really good because you can use it wet or dry. Um, I used it dry today. Um, so I'll show you how to get this look. But um, I bought it for nine dollars, and those are the colors. You get four neons. So there's a blue, an orange, a green, and a pink. And then you get four um, neutral colors or brown slash neutral. So and it gets a nice mirror at the top as well. Um, so this is my first video that I'm going to try doing a voiceover over so all of my video is silent. I've actually, this is the ending part of it all. This is the final result <laughs> of my eye makeup tutorial. I don't do my foundation or my cheeks or anything on how to do that. If you want me to make a tutorial on how I do my face makeup, um, give a comment down the bottom. But this is just so I can do show you how I did my eyes. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it turns out okay. If it doesn't turn out okay, then you guys won't ever see this. Um, but if it turns alright and I can edit it the way I want to, then awesome. It will be up in a couple of days' time. So, um, very quickly, my views about the palette. Um, pigmentation's awesome, as you can see. Um... It stayed on for hours and I'm really happy if you got an extra ten dollars lying around and you want to try the new palette then I would recommend this one. Um, so as I said I bought it from Priceline and it's for the for Australis. Alright, thank you everyone. And after in the next few seconds you'll see the beginning of my tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so I've already done my eyes, my pr primed it with my mirror knees primer and I've also used a white base eyeshadow base from NYX. Now I'm going to get my palette and I'm going to grab the pink colour and I'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eye and a little bit onto my, eye, onto my eyelid. Please remember that you are going to be mixing colours in together so make sure that you add a little bit more pink for example than what you want because then you put some blue on top of it and blend it out etc and then the next one you do the same thing with the blue and all that it is cotton buds uh cotton sorry pads um to take off the color and i'm using the same brush again and i'm putting the blue on so i'm just patting it on i'm not mixing it i'm not i'm sliding it on just patting it on Again, I put extra blue on there, and I've also put some of the blue on top of the pink, but I'm not mixing that in just yet. Now, I'm going to get the green colour, and again, I'm going to put it on my eyelid. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge, but I am going to put enough so I can mix in the in with the orange, and I'm going to also make sure that I put some green over the blue as well. At this um, stage, it doesn't have to look perfect, it doesn't have to look awesome. You're just putting on the colours and experimenting where you want them to go. Remember, give enough room for four colours, not just three. Cleaning my brush again. Now I'm going to grab the orange colour and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eyelid. And I'm also going to put it as if it's going to be a flick. But I'm not going to make it into a flick. I'm just going to put heaps of orange on. Pat it on. And estimate where I want the flick to end up being. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to clean it up in a, in a second. So just pat it on. And make sure to put the orange over the green as well. Now I'm grabbing my brush again, but I'm using the other side and I'm going to be blending the colours in together. So the pink with the blue, um, then clean it off and then do the 
green and blue and then clear it off again and then do the green and orange now I'm going to get some cotton, cotton buds I'm going to grab one and I've got a glass shot with me but it's filled with water and I'm actually going to dip the cotton bud into the water and then I'm going to um, take off any excess water off the bud and this is going to help me to take off that excess um, orange off my eye but be able to still leave the amount of orange I want to make it into a flick you can use the um, makeup remover etc but I just decided to do that I've also grabbed uh, my brush and just smudge out the um, end of it just smudge it out to make it look nice now I'm going back because I've already smudged them all in together I'm actually just going back and grabbing the pink the blue the green and the orange and I'm just patting it on the middle so you can see the orange and the blue and the green etc so just fix up just fixing it up a bit take your time there's no rush in doing this Now I'm going to use the light brown colour that um, comes with the palette and I'm actually going to use it for my lighter, my highlighter, my lighter, oh my gosh, I had a teen smoke. <laughs> and, and then I'm going to make sure that the all the colours blend out into the highlighted area. Just make it look nice and clean. So I know it doesn't look as nice and clean but it will do in a little bit. Um, now I'm going to grab my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the colour Milk and I'm going to put that colour in my in my waterline. That way it actually makes your eyes look a lot bigger than what they really are. So take your time in doing this, there's no rush. I really, really love this this NYX Jumbo pen, um, pen, Pencil. It's not a pen, pencil. Absolutely love it. So that's done now. I actually saw a tutorial and it had that and I loved it. Okay, so now I'm just grabbing my eyeliner gel, um, which is a number 75, which is actually a nice dark purple, which nearly looks black. And it's from Inglot. I've been buying a lot of products from it. Well, I've been buying products for Inglot. I actually got the um, 31T eyeliner brush from them as well. I'm slowly, you know, building up my makeup kit, etc. And this is one of my favourite products from them at the moment. Actually, all of their products so far I've loved. I love their brushes. I've liked the eyeshadows. I've loved everything. So anyway, now what I'm doing is I'm getting the eyeliner and putting it into the, in the corner of my eye in the waterline area. And now I'm going to be putting the eyeliner underneath where the white is. So that will make my eye look bigger than what it really is. So take your time in doing it. There's no rush. I like um, dotting it out first of all. And then once I dot it, I then go ahead and go back and kind of do, do the... Um, do, um, you know, connect the dots kind of thing. And then I'm, I put it out and wing it out. So I've decided not to put a top um, lid. I'm not going to put on the top lid any of the eyeliner. I'm just doing down the bottom. So now I'm just going ahead and making sure that it's all lined up together. Having a look. Um, I actually realised that it was a lot thicker than my other eye. Maybe you guys put a note. Maybe you don't notice this, but I did. So I tried to go ahead and use the um, dry cotton bud to take to to take off the excess, but um, it wasn't working. So I decided just to leave it. And I decided not to do the other side only because, you know, the whole panda eye thing. So I just decided to leave it like that. So now I'm getting uh, my cotton bud again. And I'm grabbing the pink and I'm making sure that I'm putting some of the product just down the bottom corner. 
just to put a little bit of, you know, oomph into it and a little bit of colour into it. And then I'm grabbing my bobby brush again. Um, and just, yeah, just doing that. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go put my foundation over my face. I'll be back soon. Okay, I'm back. I've done my blush and my contouring and my foundation and stuff and my eyebrow. And this is the final look. Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? So far, um, I'm really impressed with it for only um, ten, less than $10 for the palette. Really, really awesome, really good pigmentation. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually go out. I'm going out with my partner, so I'm going to go out, have lunch, etc. And then when I come back, ah, I just dropped my, my, my powder foundation everywhere. Ah. Um, so when I come back, um, I'll let you know, I'll show you guys how long it lasted, how it looks, um, and what I think about it, if there's any irritations or not. So, there you go. That's my look. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um, it's actually one o'clock in the morning now. Um, after I did the tutorial, I didn't realize how late it was. Um, I was still went out with my partner, but then I went to work. So I've had the makeup on since 2 p.m., 3 p.m. this evening, this afternoon, sorry. And as I said, it's now 1 o'clock in the morning. And I haven't used any, uh, normally I would use a setting spray for my makeup, but today I didn't because I couldn't find it. But as you can see, my eyeshadow is still... Awesome. Everything is awesome. No, sorry. Um, it's still pretty bright. It's still going. Um, I think this is a big success. Um, the only thing is, um, when I left, I had red lips. Now I have pink lips. Um, I went out to eat and I forgot my red lips. So my red lips. Oh, see, here's some red lips from before. And take these lips on and put some blue on. No. I left my red lipstick behind, so uh, thank goodness I have my Chi Chi pink lipstick still in the car, which I'm wearing now. And I love my Chi Chi. Um, it lasts for hours and hours and hours. As I said, this is like maybe from three, um, 4 p.m., 5 p.m., and it's 1 a.m. So this is the end of the tutorial, um, end of my review. I actually really enjoyed this eye palette I would recommend everyone getting it um, it doesn't have like heaps of different colors but the colors are good the pigmentations are good it stays on there and you can make many different looks out of it so yeah um, hope you have a good night and thank you for watching bye bye